Technology and Livelihood Education, Kukirit 10, Quarter 2. Prepare vegetable and seafood dishes. Kukiri Grade 10, Quarter 2, Module 4, Storing Vegetables. Our topic is Lesson 3, Safety and Hygienic Practices in Laboratory Kitchen. Kitchen safety awareness is essential in food preparation and cooking, as well as during cleanup and daily living. Understanding the hazards present in the kitchen can help you avoid causing an accident or subjecting your family to stint of food poisoning. Safety in the kitchen means using precautionary measures in the kitchen to prevent accident because most accidents that happen is due to carelessness. On the other hand, hygiene in the kitchen includes washing vegetables and fruits to remove harmful bacteria and germs from surface of the foods. Food safety and hygiene is very important to prevent illnesses and food poisoning due to food contamination. Good personal hygiene must be observed at all times. Apart from that, having good kitchen hygiene can gently minimize the possibility of fest infestation brought by moisture and food particles. Avoid germs in the home by following the four C's of food safety. Cross-contamination, cleaning, cooking, and chilling. In the refrigerator, you need to check any forgotten leftovers. To ensure leftover safety, follow these guidelines. Temperatures between 40 degrees Fahrenheit and 140 degrees Fahrenheit allow bacteria to grow rapidly. Refrigerate cooked leftovers promptly within 2 hours or 1 hour when the temperatures are over 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Use an appliance thermometer to ensure that your refrigerator is always 40 degrees Fahrenheit or below. Divide leftovers into smaller portions and store in shallow containers in the refrigerator. The four C's in food safety. Number one, cleaning. Keep surfaces clean and tidy is a vital part of preventing spread of pathogens. Some germs can live for months outside the human body, which means they need to eradicate it as quickly as thoroughly as possible. Always disinfect an area after food preparation has taken place. Number two is cooking. Once the preparation of food has taken place, you still need to ensure if it is cooked properly. There's a temptation just to put everything in the oven at the same temperature. But if there are specific instructions for each food item, you need to follow them carefully. In particular, meat products cook at varying times and temperatures and you risk serving them raw if you don't read the packaging beforehand. Number 3 is cross-contamination. Food poisoning is a major problem in busy kitchens, where healthy and safety measures can easily be forgotten. In most cases, bacteria is spread by a poorly clean hand and utensils. Number four is chilling. Health and safety don't end once you dish out your meals. Good food handling practices require you to safely store any leftover fruit juice you may have. For the most part, cooked food will need to be separated and kept chilled, either in the fridge or the freezer. Unfortunately, many people store food before it has a chance to cool down sufficiently. By dividing leftover into smaller portions and placing them in a wide dish, you can speed up the cooling process. This can be especially useful if you are pushed time due to the pressing needs of your customers. 
A sanitation plan is important in any food service preparation area. It ensures that all surfaces are cleaned on a regular basis and reduces the risk of transferring bacteria or other pathogens from an unclean surface to clean equipment such as cutting boards or tools. Many people think that when we suffer from sickness and when our tummy is upset, it is the result of germs pick up from outside the home. In reality, most germs are picked up in the home and is direct result of poor kitchen hygiene. Germs are found from raw foods, which includes meat, poultry, eggs, fish, and seafood, raw fruits and vegetables. These are transferred to kitchen surfaces or other foods while preparing meals or from food not cooked properly. Safety tips in the kitchen do not rush. Do not rush or run around in the kitchen while you need to serve your diners in a timely manner. Staying calm and composed will speed up the process and can prevent unnecessary messes or accidents. Next, always keep an eye on the stove. Do not leave stoves unattended. A naked fire may soon escalate into a burning kitchen. Next is to be careful with gas. You should turn off the gas when not using the stove to prevent any fire or explosion. Then, store dangerous objects safely. Do not place sharp or hot objects in the exposed or hidden corners. During dining hours, kitchen staff may be unaware of the danger. Keep such objects in the safe spots. Next is to get the right tools. Use the correct equipment and utensils for their intended purposes. Keep a first aid kit nearby. Always place a first aid kit and fire extinguisher within reach. Ensure that both are not expired. Personal hygiene. Personal hygiene is often the cause of many food poisoning cases. However, it tends to be deprioritized when it comes to food safety. That is why personal protective equipment is also important in the kitchen. The following are the personal hygiene practices. First is to wear uniforms. Wear a clean uniform every day and only put it on at the workplace. Put on your aprons. Different full aprons should be worn at different prep stations, like vegetable station or seafood station. Wear your gloves. Different disposable gloves to be used when handling raw and cooked food. And shoes. Wear only non-sleeve full covered shoes. Hygiene practices. In addition to proper attire, there are simple actions that can have a huge impact on the quality and hygiene of your food. We also suggest conducting regular checks every morning to ensure that your crew is disciplined in maintaining their own personal hygiene. The following are the do's and don'ts in hygiene practices. Don't scratch your body when cooking or serving. Don't rub your face or nose on your shoulder. Don't clean your ears with your fingers. Don't wipe up perspiration with your bare hands. Don't wear accessories. And don't come to work if you are sick. The following are the do's in keeping the hygiene practices. Keep your hair and beards neat and tidy. Long hair should be tied up. Wash hands frequently and thoroughly with soap. Work on a clean surface. Use different plastic chopping boards and knives for cook raw and raw food. Hygiene rules in the kitchen. Hygiene is the main ingredient in the food safety recipe of every professional kitchen. Simple carelessness in the kitchen environment or in preparing food can cause cross-contamination, and the spread of bacteria leading to food poisoning. 
The food safety protocol specifies the procedure that all food handler must observe but there are also good practices to follow regardless of the regulation. Number one, personal hygiene. Microorganisms can be transferred from hands to food. Hands must be thoroughly washed with soap and hot water after touching food and before performing the next job function. Always dry hands on clean towel. Hair can also carry germs, so keep it tied back and wear a hairnet. Number two is clothing. Clothes can carry germs from outside into the kitchen, so it is important to change into work clothes. This should be light colored so that stains are immediately visible. Number three, correct food storage. It is essential to avoid contact between food and air, so make sure it is always stored in leaded containers or is stored with plastic wrap, particularly when it is still hot. And number four, defrosting. Food must be defrosted in the fridge to prevent the growth of bacteria caused by sudden temperature changes. Every kitchen should be equipped with refrigerated cabinets that create the perfect microclimate and maintain the temperature and moist content of the food. Number 5. Avoid cross contamination. Use different utensils and chopping boards for raw and cooked foods and for different types of food to avoid cross contamination from harmful microorganisms. Number 6. Keep food at the right temperature. There is a very close relationship between temperature and microbial load. Food must be served at a temperature of at least 70 degrees Celsius. The danger zone when bacteria will multiply most rapidly lies between 15 degrees Celsius and 55 degrees Celsius. Number 7. Chill food rapidly. For the same reason, it is important to chill food rapidly. It should drop from 65 to 10 degrees Celsius in no more than 2 hours. Every professional kitchen should be equipped with adequate freezers and blast chillers, like the Aero Chill Blast Chillers range by Electrolux Professional. Number 8. Serve food correctly. Do not touch the food that is ready for serving or the parts of the serving dishes that the food is placed on. Number 9. Thoroughly clean oven and sink. Clean kitchens after every use. Wash and sanitize ovens and sinks once a day. And finally, wash dishes properly. Dishwashers are essential for any professional kitchen. Bacteria from food scraps can be prevented from spreading by properly washing dishes, cookware, and utensils. Use the right dishwashing detergent and temperatures or even better, use dishwashers with sanitizing function. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.